go ahead and roll insight. Howdy folks, I'm Dabas Volt, and welcome to Rolling Insight, a Dungeons and Dragons series where I give you some insight on topics for the world's greatest role-playing game. For this episode, we're covering table manners. No, I don't mean keeping your elbows off the table or proper silverware placement. I'm talking about proper behavior at the table in Dungeons and Dragons. Table manners are arguably more important than actually knowing the rules for playing the game, as they allow you and the others at the table to effectively communicate and be more comfortable with one another. The biggest part of table manners comes in the form of basic common decency. Don't come to D&D all sweaty and gross, having not showered, covered in food, looking like you just crawled out of a dumpster. You don't need to shower right before the session, just make sure you're relatively clean and don't smell like wet butt and you're good to go. Maybe some deodorant. Also, dress appropriately. What exactly appropriate is will depend on your group, but a safe bet is shorts, a fitting t-shirt, and at minimum, sandals. But don't you pull that sandals and socks nonsense, I won't have that at my table. Once you arrive at the table, wherever it might be, you need to figure out what the status quo is at the table. Establish with other players in the Dungeon Master what behaviors are and are not acceptable. Your DM will be more than happy to tell you the do's and don'ts of their table, and your players will be more than willing to give warnings about triggers and food allergies. This is also where DMs will give expectations for players, which usually come in the form of don't be an asshole. This can also be things like bring your own dice and character sheet. Books are expensive and the DM will usually let you borrow their copy of the player's handbook for quick reference, but the basic rules are free online, so maybe study those before walking into a campaign. Another point on entering a campaign, you are not the main character. Your whole party is the main cast. Give others a chance to talk and respect their time, and they will return the favor. So long as you play nice and don't make the campaign all about you, rather enjoying the session as part of a team and expanding the story together, you're solid as a rock. It shouldn't be about who gets the most spotlight, as everyone will have their chance in the sunshine. What's important is to ensure yourself and everyone else is having fun. After all, it's just a game. On that note, if you get upset, don't take it out on others. If your dice rolls are sucking, don't get mad at the other players or the DM. Sometimes the dice just suck, and all you can do is buy more dice and add to your ever-expanding collection. Because yes, you do need more dice. But seriously, don't get upset with others because of things that are out of their control. That's silly. On the other hand, if you have a legitimate gripe with a player or the dungeon master, take it up with them privately. If you can't sort out the problem with the player, Bring up the issue with the Dungeon Master, and they will try to establish an understanding. Understand, however, even though the DM built a world, crafted a story, voices all the NPCs, and makes the game go round, they are not miracle workers. Sometimes players are just unfriendly and need to leave, which could suck, but ultimately, the table will be better for it. I know I said earlier that table manners are more important than knowing the rules, but in some aspect, knowing basic rules is part of table manners. It makes the DM and the party's life easier when everyone knows how to play the game and what their character can do. This can be counteracted though by letting your party know this is your first time playing. We love first timers and are more than willing to help you get your foot in the door for learning this game we all love to play. What's important, however, is declaring this as the case beforehand. If you got the basics down but want to try new things, pick a class that someone's already playing and ask them for tips on playing the class. They can probably talk you through how the class works, what it does, and the cool shit you can do with it. In essence, come into D&D willing to work as an essential cog in a great machine that thwarts evil, gets loot, and saves a day. Or whatever this is. As you have now created a 700 foot radius of permanent dead magic. Don't be the strange man hiding in the corner that doesn't want to talk to anyone. I've seen campaigns where a player did this with a character and told the party his character isn't communicating with the others at all. So the DM just left him in the tavern. We didn't see that player after that session and the character eventually wound up executed in the town square on charges of disorderly conduct, which was totally fitting for the situation. This became tradition for my public campaigns and game shops and my players love it every single time. Disclaimer, this is not recommended for all games, adjust accordingly. In any case, that that's Table Manners in a nutshell. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and like, and don't forget to ring the notification bell for updates. I post these every Monday, so be sure to tune back in for more videos. If you want to see something covered, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next time we roll insight. Have a good one!